Um, let's 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 get to this before John joins. It's um, Jared Goff on Terry on Arnold because he was lining up against Amon Rossi and Brown a little bit today. Let's hear what he had to say. Yeah, he's 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 fun to talk to, and I I, I was giving him a hard time about missing practice early on, but he had a he had a real injury, and um, but I was giving him a hard time. So when he did get make that play, I said, all right, you know, you got me. Um, but yeah, he's 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 done a good job and um, has been fun to fun to be around. Absolutely. Can you tell? I mean, when, when a quarterback just got it, I mean, can you tell the? the it's so early. Yeah, I don't know. It's so early. He's only been out here a handful of days, but. Um, Mentally, he sure has it with the confidence, absolutely. Um, but yeah, you know, he was he was drafted in the first round for a reason and um, was high on a lot of draft boards, it seems. So, yeah, we'll see. But he's done a great job up to this point. Yeah, and the biggest thing, guys, with corners, although physically he has all the measurables, you know, we're not going to be able to really see him uh, out there, just like we mentioned with all these players. It is minicamp. But the thing that stuck out to me, what he said, and it's something we've already known, it's the biggest thing when it comes to corners in the National Football League is his mentality, his confidence, how he plays the game. His, and, and you see that with Terry on. He's very confident with his ability. And that really is the first step of being a really good corner. Because, again, you have to have a short memory. Uh, you, you have to have a short memory. You get burnt, you got to move on. Keep it going. And Terry on making the play he made, he picked off Jared Goff. That's going to only build confidence for the rookie. So, you know, will he go out there and be Sauce Gardner? I don't know. He could probably not. I, I would bet against that. Uh, but I think as time continues to to you know as as the season progresses, he's only going to get better the more the more he sees the more the game slows down. So just just hearing Jared say that, like, oh yeah, he's got confidence. That's great, and really, that's the first that's the first step into being a, a premier corner in this league. So good for Taron Arnold. Yeah, I'm not, earlier in the show talking about Terry Arnold, like he's already. I'm, I'm, I'm interested what the doc has to say about this, but it sounded like he's already in there with the, that, that first defense all day today. And I don't know if that was like a, a coincidence or if that was just, hey, he hasn't practiced uh, in, in a little bit, so it's time. Like, let's get him in and let's get him reps. But the confidence is, like, I, I've talked about it before, him getting drafted here in Detroit, having the confidence, and not a lot of guys would do this, to go back out on the stage or go stay on the stage, say, hey, let me get that mic and address what was it? Three, four hundred thousand Detroit Lions fans right there. As now knowing that, hey, corner is the biggest position of need on this Lions team. I'm about to step into this after what we just went through with Jeff Akuda a couple years ago. Like that is massive. Like that's that confidence. Yeah. And then that confidence, like that's the confidence I say it all the time with like a, a sauce garner. Like those are the guys uh that have that type of confidence that are that elite level. And yeah, he's probably not going to be CB1 this year. You got Carlton Davis, but He's going to end up being your your second guy there. He's going to be your starting corner, and he's going to be on the field. It's going to be – I've mentioned this a lot. It's going to be like Brian Branch last season when it's like, hey, we can't take this guy off the field because he's just that good and he's that confident, and he you can't lose – like you have to keep him on the field somehow, some way. And that's where I kind of look at Terry on Arnold. And like today was his first day in mini camps, it sounded like, and he already had that instantly, like that aura, that that CB1 type aura. So I'm excited to, to hear what he did and, and what he's going to be. I can't wait to see him pick off JJ McCarthy. Just it would be so satisfying. He gets his gets his revenge for the playoff game this year in college. And Justin Jefferson just got re-signed, but he's still got to have JJ McCarthy throwing the ball. And unfortunately, I think for Vikings fans, especially early <laughs> on, it's gonna be a disaster. And it's gonna be a disaster, but that's only gonna help Terry on and the rest of this Detroit Lions secondary confidence grow and they're gonna be just playing good ball, especially against JJ McCarthy. Yeah, I mean, and, look at the, look, no, go on. Go on. I was just say, and on top of all of it, the thing that gets mentioned the most, what's going on in this Detroit Lions defense, is they're taking a step forward. And yesterday, they obviously beat the offense out today, a little different story. But what is coming out of that room there is how good of a secondary this is now. And these guys are competing with each other. Even today, if Emel Fonwu came out and it was like, we, this room, the best thing about being in this room, like he just kept saying, and that's why I didn't even get a clip for him because he essentially, it felt like he kept saying the same thing over. The doc was there, I'm sure. And he kept saying the same thing over was, I just love being in this room. I love being in this corner room. I love these guys I, or, or, or this, this secondary room. Like, we just keep competing with each other. And he's like, it has nothing. Like, I don't – like, there's no animosity with any of us. Like, we are all elite at what we do, and we're going to make each other that much better. There's going to be no arguments. It's all going to be like, how can we get each other better? Constructive criticism. Terry on so Arnold – yeah, Terry on Arnold in that room, already a great talent and, and, and confident. 
he's going to end up get, becoming so good being with AG and being with uh, being with this secondary with some of these guys, Carlton Davis. They remember, don't forget what AG did in New Orleans with some of those guys. Yeah, but look at the NFC North. Look at the NFC. It's something that we, we continue to bring up. The amount of wide receivers that are in this division and in this conference, you just need a good set. You need a good pass rush to be able to get to the quarterback, but also you need a, you need some guys on the back end that can make some plays and fly around. And communication is so important. It's everything. And, and hearing Amik Robertson talk and now hearing um, you know uh, Carlton Davis talk already, you've heard him speak in the past. These guys are all in lockstep. So it's going to be a huge test. I mean, Terry Arnold week one is probably going to be facing Puka Nakua uh, or Cooper Cup for that matter. Barbecue, Any, chicken. Either it's barbecue chicken, ETN. So barbecue he's uh, – he, yeah, so he – and I'm excited. It's going to be a big test for him, but you can't deny the man has confidence to be able to, to have that. He probably wants that matchup, to be honest with you.